of my ways. So itong babasahin natin ngayong text ko sa Bible. Um, it's in Hebrew 12, verse 1 to 3. So yan po, uh, let's read it. So, therefore, since we are surrounded by a safe, such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of, of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Amen. So, uh, bigyan ko lang po kayo ng background about um, the text, you know. Sometimes, itong text na to, nobody knows, uh, nobody knows kung sinisumula. They said it's Paul, pero hindi naman. But, this uh, text, yung background niya is yung mga tao during the time, they came from a Jews background, yung mga Hebrew, uh, mga Hebrew. So coming from the Jews background, they become Christian, they know Jesus Christ. And there are also, ay sorry, ano nangyayari? Hindi <laughs> pa yan po. So, hindi ko alam gamitin dito, sorry, but just follow along with me. So, itong background ng Hebrews, yun nga, they were from the Jewish background. They become Christian. They know Jesus Christ. So they were really excited. And along their faith or along their walk in the Lord, they want to give up. That's why yung author na to, he wrote this to encourage them. To encourage them to keep going. To keep going on their faith. You know what? So this morning po, I have a few questions na i-meditate nyo. You know, you, while I'm talking, just ask yourself, what will keep you running strong? Ano yung mga way, ay, paano ka makakapag-run ng strong at the end of your faith? Yun, ta tanong mo yung sarili mo, paano ba ako mag magiging strong? And then, um, when you feel discouraged, what can motivate you to keep going? Or when you feel tired, you know, like you're overwhelmed with all the things going around sa iyong buhay. What that thing that keeps you going? How you can stay in your race? Ina. So, at first, let's see. Siyempre, para na tayo makita, sabi nga, we, when we read the Bible, we need to look what the text is saying to us. So, sabi nga nung, nung author nito, he wrote this to encourage the Christian during that time. So, ang focus nito is to encourage those losing, yung nawawalan na ng faith, nawawalan na ng heart, not to continue what they're doing. So, first, we can see here it says, therefore. That's the conclusion, di ba? Pagka sa, sa ating mga grammar, ano, therefore, that means previous verses may sinasabi siya na ito, ang conclusion ng sinasabi niya before. So sabi niya nga, therefore, uh, listen to the great cloud of witnesses. So ang first natin, can you, uh, uh, first is listen. Sabi nga, di ba? It says like, listen to the great witnesses. Kasi sila may sa great cloud of... Sino ba yung mga great clouds of witnesses na yun? Makikita natin yun sa Hebrew 11. Diba? Yung, by, yung hall of faith. Hall of fame na sinasabi ng Bible. So like, uh, like from Abraham, Isaac, uh, um, Gideon. All those, pag may time kayo, basahin niyo yung Hebrew 11. Kasi yun yung parang... Uh, preparation for this. How he want to encourage the Christian people that time. Now, listen to the right witnesses. Diba? Listen to it. Pag sinabi bang witnesses, anong ini iniisip nyo pag sinabi? Witnesses. 
Pag witnesses, di ba? Ano ba yun? Para witness ka sa... Sa saksi ka. Saksi niyo. No, binig kasi pagka merong nangyari, di ba? O merong nabangga dyan, tapos nakita mo yung yung situation, yung police, tatanungin ka, o ano ba? Kita mo ba yun? Nandiyan ka kasi. So you are a witness to that. Ano, parang you are just there. You saw it. You saw what happened. Tatanungin ka, kung ano nangyari? Di ba yun? So one point is that that is one of the witness. Pero, meron din isa na witness na sinasabi dito na there's a witness na sa court of law. Meron na ba nakapunta ng court of law? <laughs> Sana wala pa po. Pero in the court of law, they uh, they said witness. Kapag sinabing witness ka, you are uh, saying something. Not just seeing it, but you are saying the truth. You are saying what happened. You are saying, it means testifying what happened. So, in this verse po, sinasabi niya na they are telling us. Ano yung sinasabi ng mga witnesses? Na di ba, sila Abraham, si Isaac, look at them. Kahit na ano sila, like, they're not, they walk their life not perfect, but they're persevere. Yun ang sinasabi niya sa atin na kapag ikaw ay nangihina na something going on, look, Hebrew 11, tinan mo sila mga, yung mga patriarch natin na kahit na they did something bad, they continue, they continue, they continue. Christian is not a perfect, you know, you can't be perfect kahit Christian ka na. But the most important thing is you persevere. That's what matters most. Yung perseverance natin to keep going on, di ba? So sabi nga na, in this verse, Hindi lang sila nagsasabi, nakita ko yung ginawa ng Panginoon. But they're already testifying. They're saying it. Uh, parang ina-experience na na ito. Yes! Like si Abraham, di ba? Pinawag siya ng Panginoon from one place to this place. He followed. But along the way, hindi perfect. Marami siyang nagawang mga, uh, mga wrongdoing. But God called him his friend. Diba? So, yun yung inaano ng, ng, ng author na to, like, hey, don't give up. Listen. Listen to the right witnesses. In the world, di ba, marami tayong naririnig mga marites. <laughs> Sometimes we listen them, di ba? Sometimes we will listen them more often than we listen to what the Bible says. Kaya ang sabi nga is, sabi nga dito is, the author was telling the, the Jewish, Hey, don't give up. I know. I know. God will carry you through it. And at the same time, uh, hindi lang sila nag-cheer sa atin. Kasi nung nauna ko nabasa tong verse na to, I don't know if you, yung, akala ko sila, nasa bleacher yung mga clouds of witnesses nag-cheer sa atin, oo, sige, go, 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 continue, continue, parang yung mga sa basketball, yay. But hindi pala. Not just that, but they're telling us, you know, hindi lang sila nag-cheer, but they're helping us along the way. Paano? Yung mga testimony nila, di ba? Na kinukuha natin ng faith natin right now. Na pag wala na tayong ma-isip o wala, okay, what did what happened to Daniel? What happened to Abraham? We look back. We look back. And that gives us faith. That gives us faith. And that gives us encouragement to run, to go for again. So, um, <clears throat> sabi nga din, paano, practical way, how can we listen to the right witnesses? So, of course, our Bible. That's the most important place or to go and find the right witnesses. Yung Bible natin. It's in our head, sometimes, in our sa phone natin. And we need to go look and challenge your day every day na, okay, five minutes, I will read my Bible. Diba? Five minutes for a day. Spend time just reading and try to listen to the right person. Sabi nga, no one of the author nung 
binabasa ko. Sabi niya nga, uh, Joel Austin, he said one that he remembers, like when he, as soon as he wakes up, he always say, God, good morning. This is going to be a great day. I want to see you today. I want to listen to you. So I try to do it, but sometimes I forgot. Pero I challenge myself that in the morning, oh, I think about God. I think about God. Kasi ano yung parang new habits mo, pag every day you do it, it becomes who you are, right? Like eight times they said, if you keep doing it eight times, magiging part na yan ng life mo. So, yun, challenge yourself. Kung nagbabasa ka na yun ng Bible for 20 minutes, challenge yourself 30 minutes. Or pag nagbabasa ka na ng matagal, one hour. I mean, just challenge. Keep challenging yourself. Kasi yun na, it will help us to keep going on. Tsaka, ako minsan, ano, I don't really, I, sometimes I forgot because of my busy morning. Uh, I try 30 minutes before I go. And minsan nagigising ako ng mga late now or bumabangon. So I, I missed my time. Pero while I'm driving, I, 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 used, I used that time to really talk to God. Lord, ano bang ngayong nga agab araw na to? Sorry guys, hindi ako nakapag, ano nga, kanina. But I wanna put this time apart for, uh, like, part of the, my day. Start my day with this. So, kung nasa busy kayo, sa kotse, listen to the music, listen to the apps ng Bible, para ma-ano, magising yung ating spiritual. So, yun yung ginagawa ko, para hindi ko i-beat ang sarili ko, hindi ako nakapagbasa ko yun. Kasi that's the enemy's plan. Ano, uh, by the way, that's the thing. So, uh, challenge yourself every day. Kung ano yung gusto yung time, you, you can do it. And also, another thing is, read the biography of the famous uh, Christian martyrs, no? Kasi maganda din yun, like, for example, I told Joe Jethro, last time I told him, oh, read John Bunyan. What is that? You know, the, the author of the... Daddy, he help me out. The author of... Oh, I forgot. Uh, maybe I was. Yeah, later I forgot. Then I lost my acting mind. But anyway, si John Bunyan, you Bunyan, famous author, siya, Christian author, and saka si Charles Spurgeon or like that. John Murray, mga author yan sa mga Bible school, alam nila yan. Pero sila yung mga patriarch ng new uh, new age patriarch. Nan malalaman mo yung kanilang life how hard it was, but they keep going on. Kasi nakaka, ano din yung boost ng ating faith. Yung mga tao na, na nakikila. Or maybe may mga kilala kayo na mga pastor na how they went through their hard times then God used them mightily. So, ganun. Yung, we need to, not to be, ang tama dito, na stagnant. We need to keep going. Kasi nga, di ba, we are in the what well, we're in the what? The race. Alam ba, mga athlete, hindi yun nag-stop mag-training. Kahit wala silang game, they keep training. I have a student, ah, 13 years old. Kahit wala siyang play, well, kahit holiday, nagsasoccer siya. She's the best, sabi niya. Third, 9 to 10, every day, practice, practice. Well, you, have, you don't have game, yeah? Yeah, but I need to practice. So, ang mga athlete, they play. They just practice with all. So, tayo din. You know, we need to practice our spiritual muscle para maging strong tayo to keep going on to serve the Lord and to see the prize that God has for us. So, the next one is, ito na, next one po, lay aside all the wrong influence. Okay? Sabi nga, paano na tayo eh? So that first, sabi niya, listen to the right witnesses. Ngayon naman, it says, lay aside the wrong influence. In verse 2, it says, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that easily entangles us. So there is a two, dalawang bagay, two things that we can see in this verse. It says, hindrance, hinder, I'm sorry, but it, hindrances or hinders. And sin. So there's two things na dapat natin lay down or have to put it away. Put it away. Diba? Ang hindrances naman, those 
things naman, ang hindrances, ano ba yung mga hindrances na sinasabi niyo minsan? Oh, may hindrance ako sa life. What do you think is that? Ha, bisyo? Okay. What else? Shopping. <laughs> Shopping, you're sorry. Hindrance. Yung mga hindrances naman, it's not evil. Ito yung mga bagay na hindi naman talaga masama na God wants us to enjoy, like money. God wants us to enjoy money, di ba? God wants us to enjoy vacation. God wants us to enjoy, um, like, yung hobbies mo, or yung work mo, vacation. That's all not bad things. That's what God wants us to enjoy. But sometimes, it becomes a hindrance to our walk in the Lord. Paano yun? Paano may hindrance? Like for example, please don't get mad at me, okay? So, alam mo, basketball, di ba? So, you like basketball, really. But, meron kang basketball time ng Sunday. <coughs> <coughs> Sunday! So, ngayon, e championship yun. Pero, nakaschedule kang mag-play. O, di ba? So, that's, di ba? Meaning to say, it becomes a hindrance kasi you didn't put boundaries na, okay, Sunday, buko, namimiss ko ang aking, ang championship. But, you know, those things, halimbawa, vacation, di ba? Going to vacation or somebody comes to your place, um, yung mga friends nyo, oh, Sunday, gusto ko lumakad. I mean, for us, I don't know. Sa amin kasi, we already have the culture in my family uh, na we established na kapag meron kaming friends na dumating dito, we plan not on a Sunday. Sasabihin ko sa kanila, Uy, Sunday we have church. Whether you wanna come or not, we will be at the church. As much as possible, hindi kami nagpa-plan on a Sunday. Kung maiwasan, alam ba may mga in, sa mga school na mga bata, when they were young, kasi di ba mga, ano ba yun, mga sangkambi nila, gano'n, gano'n. Sunday lagi yun. Eh, sinasabi ko lang when Jethro was younger, Mommy, there's sangkambi. Sorry, we have church. Tell your teacher. And then he tells the teacher. Tapos sabi ko, oh, I'm not going to church. Sabi ko, but I will do, mag-observe ako. No, Mommy! We're going to church. Hindi ako magpapasok. So, for them, they know na church is most important for us. Hindi dahil, ano nyo na, yung parang pinipilit namin. Kasi dinlay namin na Sunday is a sacred time. It's for the Lord and for the people. So yun lang sa amin is So pag may mga kaibigan kami dumarating dito, sabi na, oh, you either go to us, to church, or pupunta kami church, if you want, you don't want, you wait for us at home. And they understand. Kasi nasabi namin sa kanila. Hindi. So may mga bagay na nagiging hindrance sa atin. You know, you know what's going on with you. Pero, you know, sometimes nagiging way yun na mag-move ma out tayo sa race natin para mag-move on tayo, di ba? Kasi minsan meron tayong, I don't wanna go, mag-serve kasi meron akong alis kami, gano'n, gano'n. So, it's up to you. What are those hindrances na nagpo-pull back sa race mo to could keep going on? So, uh, and the next one is sin. Of course, ano ba yung mga sin? Can you? Sin. That's hard, na? Sorry, ah. It's just the word of God. I'm not mentioning anything. So it's just the word of God. So sins, what are the sins? Lying, pride, lust, envy, greed, wrath, all those things that evil. Yun na naka-entangles. Pag sinabi entangles, naka-wrap na sa atin. In, na it's really hard. Sabi nga dun sa old uh, sa old uh, meaning nito, yung mga Puritan, sinasabi pag daw uh, naka-entangle, para naka-right na sa kanila. Pag may sin, para it's part of you. So yun, yung mga sins, mga kasalanan na parang it's easily entangles us, like jealousy, di ba? I do sometimes I feel like that and I caught myself in je jealousy and I always tell God, please take this away from me. Kasi pagka nandung ka na, nagpart ka na nung, na, na, ang tawag ito na, and chop ka na doon, you never, you cannot think. And it's always the other person's fault. Yeah, so, 
you have to make sure that we need to lay down yung mga hindrances, yung mga sins na nagpo-pull us back. Diba? Kasi gusto nating mag-move on. Diba? Nobody wants to be stuck. Nobody wants to stay the same thing. How? Think about Him every day. Jesus, you know, what are you doing there? You know, what's going on? Kind of thing. He's your friend. Para ka nang kipag-usap sa friend or sa... I, I, I can't say husband. Kasi misa sa kaso na kipag-usap ka. Away eh. Parang... But, but, but with friends, is parang... You know? Connection. Connection. So, oh nga. That was just a new revelation to me. Bakit hindi sinabi ni Jesus na... You are my, ano, <laughs> talk to me as a friend, not a husband or a wife. Yung pala yun, kasi yung connection. So, um, what do we need to think about Jesus? Yun nga. So, we fix our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter. Ano daw ang in-endure niya? He endured the cross. Na, 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 naalala niyo ba kung ano nangyari niya sa kanya? when he walked and carried the cross up to the point of his death, he endured. He took it. He carried it. He felt all those things. He endured. So that's what we have to think about. Kapag nag give up na tayo, I think about Jesus. Wow! I can't, parang hindi pa naman ganun ka, grabe na. Some, I have to carry all my cross. A man na sa akin. So we need to think about him, how he endured the cross, and how he, what's the other one? <clears throat> he endured such opposition. Yung mockery ba na, ah, oh, ikaw ba yung sound of God? Bakit hindi mo maligtas yung sarili mo? Ah, oh, ikaw ba yan? Tas he, they pull his clothing. He put the crown of thorns, na sinabi nga yung crown of thorns, hindi yun symbols of pride, but it's symbols of humiliation. And dying on the cross, it's a humiliating thing to happen. So pagka ganun, think about the right person. Think about Jesus. He endured the cross. He endured all the opposition, the mockery, and all the things, the bad things. And sometimes tayo, pag minarinig tayo na about us, Oh, what? You know, yung reaction natin is like, what? What the, uh, you know, things comes out to our mind. But when we think about Jesus, you know, yung mockery niya, how he did and how he went to the, to the cross. And who am I? Who am I to think about myself? So it's really important now, pag nagdumadanas tayo ng mga pain, question, doubt. Think about Him. Think about Jesus. Think about what He endured on the cross and what opposition that um, He went just to give us and just to be in the race. Kasi nga, He did that to put us into the race of life. So, He's not just our coach, but he just went with us. He went, he did the, the road, he did the, how you say that, the race before us. Para meron tayong example. So he is our great example. So, not just thinking about that, how he endured, how he fixed, but you know what? He is sitting on the right hand of God. He is sitting there. So kapag na, na, naisip mo na, okay, this life sucks. You have to think, Jesus is sitting on the right hand of God. Jesus is there. Jesus is there. And why I'm going to be, why, why will I stop? Jesus is sitting right there on the right hand of God. No, he is my high priest. You know, he is exalted. Jesus, he is exalted above every name. And he sat down on the right hand of the Father. You know, a little background during ng mga 
Na Old Testament, di ba familiar kayo? May mga high priest tayo. Sa mga high priest na yan, every year they go and sacrifice for the people. They they sacrifice the blood of the lamb for the, para sa mga sins ni mga tao. Kahit anong mga sins yun, iba-iba. Iba-iba yung mga animal. So, high priest should be there. Hindi sila pwedeng umalis sa kanilang position kasi ang trabaho ng high priest is 24-7. Non-stop. Non-stop. Until they die. That's their job. Tapos pag namatay sila, somebody else will come and they will do, keep doing, 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 until somebody. You know, ganun ang buhay ng high priest po. You know, so Jesus is our high priest so we don't need to to uh, uh, we don't need to offer a sacrifice. Pero po, the neat thing, yung nakita ko po yung uh, sorry, I have a sip for <laughs> So, so uh, thank you. So yung high priest pala, because they don't, how and off I go through sa kanya allergy. Um, <clears throat> so, meaning to say, diba high priest lang yung nag-offer ng uh, mga animals. So, ang high priest, no, no rest. They don't rest. So, pag namatay sila, then another high priest. Uh, so, pero you know, the Bible says, Jesus sat down. Amen. What does it mean? Kasi high priest si Jesus. Pero he sat down. He said, the Bible said, when he said, it is finished. The high priest job is finished because of Jesus' blood. Amen. So that's why he can sit now in the right hand of God for you and me. Kaya hindi na tayo pwede mag-offer ng mga blood and sacrifices. He took everything away because of what Jesus done on the cross. He did and so we can have rest. Diba ang sarap noon na parang yes, we are running in the race. Pag na, ano na, pag ka, napagod ka, rest. Kasi may mga sa mga race naman, they have a stop. They, somebody give them water. If they get sprained, somebody has to wait for them. Don't keep going. You know, because God has given us a, a privilege, a way to rest. But don't quit. Don't get off the race. Don't disqualify yourself. Now, I cannot do this. It's so hard. Hindi ko kaya bitawan to. Parang this is in my life. I mean, like your vices or your your things. You know, hindi ko pa bitawan. It's been part of me. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can do it. Cause see, just think about Jesus. What he did for you. What he accomplished. And now you can enjoy sitting with him. You know, and be with him and give you rest in all the things that, that we are experiencing right now. We all go through a lot of situations. Nobody is exempted. We are challenged with every kind. And that's in the Bible, diba? But the good thing, Jesus said, it is finished. It is finished. And we can rest in his presence. And at the same time, because Jesus is our high priest. He's always there for us. And you know, they said also na merong quote na, I will finish quick, eh? by Corey Ten Boom. I don't know if you know it. It says, if you look at the world, you'll be distressed. If you look within yourself, you will be depressed. But if you look at God, you will be at rest. So, ang ano natin, focus on God. Focus on Jesus. Whatever it is, focus on Him because He will give you rest. And before I I finish, I, I saw this video. It was just encouraging for me because uh, it's a quick clip about a marathoner. It's, she's the Japanese one. This one. Uh, and I was impressed with her dedication. So I. Uh, <laughs> 